What's up party people and what's up mom? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jen and I'm a full-time reseller online and I went to the bins again. Surprise, surprise. And this time I got the majority of clothing. As you'll see, I think I only got two pairs of shoes. Um, I got 72 pounds of clothes at $1.49 per pound. Um, I paid $107.28 cents on my personal credit card. I grabbed my personal one instead of my business credit card, which is really annoying, but it is what it is. I've got my frizzy, curly, natural hair today. <laughs> Hope that's all right. Uh, I'm going to jump right in. I have my three big Ikea bags. I have something hanging out here that you can see, and I will just start with this. It's huge. She's big. It's a Land's End, size small, down-filled rope. It doesn't have the um, strap, but it does have pockets, and it is down-filled. And down-filled items are really light. <laughs> and this is like a Snuggie on steroids. So I can't wait to wash this. I hope it goes fast. and. The winter, fall, not right now, it's gonna go fast though. These are one of the first pairs of shoes that I got. Um, these are Sperry's and they are like a little duck boot. Leather and rubber duck boot, good condition. These are size six. And women's, they don't need much cleanup. Adam will be happy about that. The other pair of shoes is somewhere in these Ikea bags. So we'll just jump right in. Right on top, we've got a bra. It's new with tags, Victoria's Secret. This one is a 36C and this says Demi on it. it looks like the backs are convertible you can snap them off cross them whatever it's just a nude bra we love that underwire let's not wash this one next is a cashmere i almost put this back pure collection cashmere us size 4 but how are you supposed to put back cashmere i looked briefly for holes i didn't see any so we grabbed it it doesn't look way like shrunk or stretched out or anything like that i've never heard of that brand so i'll look it up when i'm ready to list it see how she does oh this is so cute i'm a kid seller now apparently so let's see this is columbia if i can figure this out size 3t and it's just a fleece jacket i just thought it was so cute so i grabbed it kid stuff i'll take to my um kids buy sell trade ours is called kid to kid uh might be called something else near you this is cool um it is white which is always terrifying from the bins but it's a nike size medium it's a full zip it does have a spot on the front, but I think it's a surface spot. It's down here at the bottom. If you can see the, anyways, I can get, I can think I can get that off. It's a full zip crop with like a meshy open back. This is Nike on the bottom. I figured it's lightweight. I'll give it a try. I think, I really do think I can get that stain out. So. Then I'll list this for, I don't know, 25, 30 bucks. I usually list high-ish and then allow for offers. Um, this is uh, Urban Romantics from TJ Maxx, new with tags. It's just a really cute like wrap skirt. Let's see, there we go. So this is supposed to tie here on the side, work with me. And it's got this really cute floral print, midi length, little wrap skirt. And you 
can't say no to a new attack <laughs> at the bins. Like so. As you've seen from the title, I did get a lot of new with tags items today, which is pretty exciting. Uh, this is just Joe Fresh. I don't generally pick this up, uh, but it said Nordstrom Rack. I didn't know. Maybe I'm thinking of Joe Boxer, but anyways, this is just a plaid with a metallic like silver thread full zip. And then on the inside, it has pocket or polka dots as like a contrast. Real cute. Just a little top. Won't get much for that. This is interesting. I looked this up briefly at the bins. And what I saw shook me. It does have some peeling um, that I'm just noticing. Not a big deal. It is leather. I'm just trying to find. Let me show you first. Because the it's just a men's leather or a women's I'm not sure I'll have to look but it's just a leather jacket gray the brand is on the inside that's why so this is the brand you can see that Kurt I don't know no idea what the brand is I think this is men's it's a size it doesn't even have a US size genuine leather but it says I don't know they're like numbers 58 32 60 64 anyways I'm gonna have to look into it but the small amount of research that I saw was good so I grabbed that <laughs> this was funny I think somebody put this back and I just grabbed it it's Chanel on the back it's obviously fake and then it says number five, like the perfume, uh, Chanel number five. This says F497 American Apparel, fleece size large. Size large is just a neon pink Chanel number five hoodie. I thought it was cute. It'll go fast for cheap, probably, but I liked it. Here's another bra. This is Victoria's Secret, size 38D. And this one's interesting. It has like a shell over the top, like a lacy shell. I don't know. Interesting. Anyways, three clasps on the back. Good to go. This one's called the Lined Perfect Coverage. And... Yeah, that's just what it's called. So there's that one. This I thought for buy, sell, trade stores. It's just Jerry, size medium, but it reminded me of a Patagonia. So it's just a textured snap tee style, lightweight pullover. This one was fun. Again, just a fun cheapie. This is chemistry, size extra large. Not quite sure where that sold. Probably Kohl's or something like that. But this is a NASA sweatshirt. United States. Oh, I'm just realizing it has a hole right here. That stinks. Maybe I'll wear it. I'm not a big sewer person. So I will not fix that. I will either wear it. See if buy, buy, sell, trade wants it or just sell it as is. Here's a couple more Victoria's Secret bras. These were all stuck together with the other ones. I don't know. But here's a pink one. Huge push up. This one's called Bombshell. Oh, it's the Bombshell bra. I used to wear these back in the day. 34B. Huge push up. Pink with stones. Those are cute. Come on now. Okay, this one's also a bombshell 34B. And this one's like a, I don't know what color is this. Topi, maybe. The leopard print bedazzle. Okay, I'll find the other ones. They're in here somewhere. 
This one's Slytherin, Harry Potter, size extra small. Just a Slytherin shirt, slut shirt. I'll see if Autumn wants this. Um, if not, then I'll just list it for 25 or so. Cute. This is Adidas. Adidas, size extra small. Another little hoodie. This one has the lines, not the trefoil logo. Cute purple. What is that? Climb a warm thumb holes? No thumb holes. Let's see. I got a corset. This is, I don't know. It's a 5-6XL corset. And I was going to give this to my local consignment, but that size is like not going to walk into a buy sell trade store. That's what it looks like in the front. So I'll just list this for, I don't know, 25 or 30 bucks. We'll see. Depends on how comps look. If there's any listed in that size, etc., etc., that brand, I don't even know that brand. I just got it based off st style and size. Um, this was exciting. I had a bin that was jackpot. This one is cool, which I'm surprised that I don't find more often because it's made here in Salt Lake. Size small. This is women's like fleece, full zip. Does have thumb holes. <laughs> like fleece jacket. So that's cool. I'll list it pun intended for like 40 or so. Oh, here's the shoes. Oh my gosh. And it's holding my Pokemon cards. I found some Pokemon cards, so I'm probably uber rich now. I don't know who this is, but he is cute. Or she. <laughs> so is this one. Finnegan, I think. I don't know. And Bulbasaur, hey -oh. None of them are obviously holographic. Nonetheless, they are cute. And they don't weigh anything. Anyways, here's the other shoes that I got. And they're just Franco Sarto. Here, Franco Sarto. Franco Sarto. But they're this really cute mule. Black and gold. Kind of jacquard. Florally. Mule, so cute. These are a size six and they're in great shape. So toes are good. I didn't spend any time in the shoe bins, which is so unlike me, but yeah. Okay, next we got a Bowden size US six long. And it's just this navy blue dress, fit and flare. It's got a lot of little eyelet details in it. And it's pleated at the bottom, has more eyelets. Pockets? No. But Bowden at the bins is a win. I'll list for like 35 for that. Oh, uh, let's see. This is fun. This does have some staining, but I'm going to try and figure that out. This one's Adidas by Stella McCartney, size medium. Somebody threw this back in the bin, I'm guessing for that, um, but it's a full zip crop hoodie and it has this big logo in the back. Oh, it does have some stuff on the front too, but that's just like food. It's like food all over this. So I'll try my best to get it off. I think I can do it. I think I can do it. That'll be cool. Okay, this one I got based off of style. And to save it from the landfill, it's Zaffle, which is just a fast fashion brand. This is a US 6, but it's <laughs> so cute. So it's a quarter zip crop, like sweater fleece, 
sweater, so it's not the right time for it. But it's so cute. This is going to fly so fast in the fall time. I'll probably just list it for like $25. I don't know how much it was on Zaffle. Probably even cheaper than that. But, okay, here's another corset. This I'm going to send to my consignment store. It's Trip, which is Hot Topic. Size medium. Has a zip in the back. Little lace front corset top. And these straps you can take off and adjust. So that's nice. But yeah. Okay. Oh, here's the other bra that was with those bombshell bras. This one is also Victoria's Secret 36C. This one's the lined demi. And it's pink, but it has this cute little B in the front. This gold B. Little bra. Okay, and the last thing in this first bin is this. And I was looking to see if I can find like a brand or a logo or anything. And this is what I saw. So it says Pashmina and Cashmere. It's 100% Cashmere. So it's a Cashmere Pashmina scarf type thing. And it's double sided so that's that side this is the other side cute I didn't know I didn't look it up but it's beautiful and it's cashmere and it's pashmina which I've only ever heard on that one song I'm on a boat and going fast and I got a nautical theme pashmina afghan you know next bag Okay, right on top, I don't know this brand, I got it based off style, it's called Bear Ridge Outfitters, made in USA, size small, but look at this, full zip, fleece jacket, it's southwestern style, real cute. I'm stocking up on winter stuff, and look at this. The Patagonia, yes, women's medium. It's uh, like a raincoat, windbreaker. It has an armpit zip for ventilation, hood, packable, so lightweight. It does say Patagonia right here. I don't see any holes, rips. The inside isn't like peeling off, anything like that. Awesome possum, let's see. It's from spring of 2015. It has a style, so I'll look that up. Okay, and in that same bin was this Patagonia. Get back there. And this one's a size large, women's. And it's a snap tee pullover. It's like a dark gray or a black I can't tell but there is like bleach spots on it I don't mind I'm still gonna sell it the way it is and heck yeah it's been a while since I found a good Patagucci in the bins so you know me and my running shorts these are a Nike size small uh, they do have the built-in underwear I'm actually wearing some some pink ones, you can't tell. I'm not gonna get up any more, but I'm wearing, not Nike, these ones are actually from Forever 21. When I got them at the bins, I just love these. I live in them. Okay, we got another kids fleece. Look at this, how cute. Columbia, <laughs> six to 12 months. Cute little thingy. Hey, okay, we've got this is I think this is start of the new tag stuff. So this is a gap size small. It's $69.50 retail, but it's um wool outer, yeah, wool and downfilled vest. 
very nice new tags so sweet okay these i wanted to buy for me they're just what are they massimo size six but i don't think i'm that small yet so i think a buy sell trade will um take these i don't think i'll ever get back to a size six <laughs> wishful thinking on my behalf this I don't know what it is but it's silk I am so sorry that wool vest just got me going it's this silk icon 100% silk new tags at TJ Maxx anyways it's this really cute print sleeveless semi sheer button front what size is it small top weighs nothing silk is always very lightweight these oh i saw a friend a viewer a friend of mine <laughs> named tiffany she uh watches my videos so hi tiffany if you're watching uh we talked about buy sell trade stores and local consignment and i showed her this while we were there um gonna give this to consignment it's a denim skirt overall set but the back is wild so here's the front here's the straps so i think you go crisscross applesauce let me put it together because she asked me what i do with my vintage and i'm like i don't know i don't have anywhere specific because vintage is hard to sell but anyways so it's a normal like overall dress but in the back it's crissy crossy and open and has pocket and midi length and it's a size it says seven but it's legit vintage it's probably a size small yes definitely a size small so cute i love that and they'll sell it so fast for me here is affliction which also sells fast the size medium I think it's it's a men's or a women's I don't know I'll have to look it up but it's just affliction shirt with some stitching I just saw an email come through from thread up I have not seen a thread up email email in a long time okay this is umbro i didn't look this up either and i don't know if this is a thing or not i know that they sell umbro shoes at like ross and stuff but i don't know this is just the umbro full zip jacket if it's nothing crazy then again buy sell trade store perfect you heard this big old bump it's because my kids running down the stairs okay they're leaving they're going to their aunt's house Anyways, here is a new tags uh, bodysuit, long sleeve. Again, don't know this brand, Carol Maloney, but it has a Nordstrom tag on it. Carol Maloney, there's the Nordstrom tag. And it's a thong bodysuit, and it has like this crissy crossy back. I don't know, it's interesting. I figured I would try it. What is this? Oh. And in it are built in cups. That's interesting. <laughs> okay. I thought it was a bra, like intertwined in it, but it's built in cups. All right. We'll just uh, put that over there. Okay. Here, I wouldn't normally pick this up, but it was new with tags. It's Bebe, size six with a clearance tag of $50 on it. It's just a brown Jacardi knee-length skirt. Very nice. Okay, we've got a coat. I went back and forth on this one, debated, debated. But I got it, obviously. It's just Laundry by Shelly Seagal. It's a size small. Uh, like a rain jacket, long line rain jacket. What got me was the back. How cute is this little back peplum? <laughs> it's so cute. It's got a packable hood. It needs to be washed, but so does everything else in this haul. But it's so cute. 
I like the zip details on the zippers as well, or on the zippers, on the pockets. I don't know if you can actually zip that off. No, you can't. But it's, I liked it. Okay, here are some new tags items. So there's a bin full of new tags items. And they're nothing crazy, like crazy brands, but like Loft, new tag size 4. There was a bunch of size 4s, so what I'm going to do is a lot them together. Put them all together because they're all like work pants. These ones are gray, a dark gray with a uh, red and cream stripe, straight leg. These ones are a six, so these ones won't go with the fours, but these are, what is this? Gap, true, straight, new with tags, just a gray straight with pockets. This one is Ann Klein, size four, black, straight leg pants. Let's see, this one, oh, I'll have to keep finding more. They're in here. But I also got uh, some extra small Banana Republic's new tag. So all of these I will lock together as well. This one's just a geometric print button front top. And the other two are in this last bag. I remember that because I, when I was shoving them all in. This is a new tag. Caslon, which is Nordstrom Rack or Nordstrom size extra small. Here's the tag. What is this? Retail for $98, just a brown button front, long line jacket, lightweight. Okay, here's some more bras. We're just a little all over the place. This one is new with tags, 34C, um, Victoria's Secret, made in the Philippines. This one doesn't have like a name on it, I guess. But it's black and purple, and it has this little tie in the front, lacy number, yeah. Here's one more bra. This one's also Victoria's Secret, 38C, and this one's leopard print, very nice. Okay, what are you? Oh, this is White House Black Market. Size small, new with tags, $88. This is a long line black cardigan, which is like perfect for now, spring and summer, because you get a little cold, you want to put on a cardigan. It has these little studs there. Okay, here's Ralph Lauren. Size medium, new with tags, purple dress. Q, I wouldn't gen I wouldn't pick these up at like a regular thrift store. Even new with tags, I wouldn't. Because they would mark them up. Okay, here's an Ann Taylor size four blue. These ones are cute. Skinny with zippers. like something I would wear. Okay, this one is not a brand I would normally pick up, but it is Angora Rabbit Hair Arden B, size large. I like the color and the style as well. So it's kind of like a balloon-ish sleeve and then cinches in. It's got that fuzzy, if you can see that, rabbit hair sweater. Here's another sweater new with tags. <laughs> I've never heard of this brand, but it has a Nordstrom um, attached to it at $82. I don't even know how to say that. One size fits all. It's an open knit sweater, which we know one size fits all is a lie. I would say it would fit a large, snugly, small, and medium would be oversized. That's cute. 
Okay, here's another work pant. These are so cute. These ones are not new with tags, but I got them based off style. They are the Loft Kate size 6 blue, but look how cute that is. I love that. There's a fluff. But they're a wide leg or, no, straight leg, but I'm going to use like nautical in the title. It has pockets. Are those faux pockets? Those are faux pockets. How rude. But I love those. These are so cute. These are so cute as well. I would wear the crap out of these if these are my size. They're actually inside out. <laughs> but they are gap size six. So maybe I'll uh, lot the sixes together and the fours together. I love these. These aren't necessarily work pants. They're just patterned pants. They're called the Always Skinny Low Rise. New a tag, generally $69.95, that's wild. How cute are those? I love those. Okay. Um, oh, here's, oh, here's the Banana Republics, the small, extra small ones. So this is another one that'll go with that. It's just a tank top, but it's beaded. Like a floral beaded. Number, here's the other one, and this is like a sweater. This one's a size small. A sweater tank, V-neck, and it comes with extra string. <laughs> so those three will go together. This one I debated on, but it's cute, and it's new with tags. It's Potter's Pot. It's like the chambray top. New with tag. What is this? A loft, extra small, new and tag tank with a peplum at the bottom. It's like a sweater tank on the top. Okay, we've got some H&M new with tags. Uh, this one's a US 10. And it's a sleeveless, well, like just a basic work dress. You know, now I'm seeing it has like a, I don't know what that is. So we'll have to look at that later. I got one more H&M. This one's a size six. New with tags. And this is like a, what is that called? Hound's tooth print. Same style of dress as the other one. Here's another cute ankle zip pant. These are the limited size six, new tags. These are like an ankle zip pant, like an ankle length, that's what I meant. Obviously ankle zip. Okay, this is a new to me brand, I looked it up. They retail for $88, it's called Else, I think. These are a 29 and these are a printed pant, which we know printed pants aren't the jam, but I'm going to try it. They're a skinny, they're a high rise. So we'll see. They're new tags. <laughs> what are you? These are Banana Republic, Martin Fit, size 8, new with tags, normally $60. And I got these because they're a linen cotton blend, again, with the nautical theme, wide leg, perfect for right now, for your beach vacations. These are another thing that's my style. Don't know this brand. I love these. I don't know why I don't have any of these. These are Attire New York. No idea, size six, high rise, plaid pants. I need to get some of these in my life. They do stretch, so maybe I can, no I can't. <laughs> no, I can't. Ooh, I got some icebreaker socks. <laughs> these are small, they're like for kids. 
medium cushion from TJ Maxx. Retail for $26. Anyways, socks. And here's another pair of pants. Loft size four. Another stripey pant. These ones are a creamy color with red, black, white stripes. Okay, so that's all of the second bag. Okay. And we'll start here. So these is Under Armour, size large, men's polo, striped polo, nothing crazy, but lightweight, can't beat it. There's, okay, there's this big old tag on the inside. I was wondering if it was new with tags, because there's more new with tags coming in here. This is a Volcom shirt, right? Yes, just a plain Volcom buy sell trade shirt. Same with these. These are just Wild Fable though, size small in their overalls. I debated getting these since I got the other ones, but you can't leave a good overall. I like the style on these, and I will show you them right now. So they're a light wash, and they're distressed. Hold on, let me get it together. There we go. Distressed, kind of like a straight leg crop overall. So they're completely different than the other ones, the vintage ones. So I grabbed those. These are a kids miss me, size eight. Boot cut, flap pocket. This time I did check the crotch. And they're good. Oh, this is cute. This is just, um, what is that, misguided? It's a faux leather mini skirt. Size US 8. That's cute. So maybe I can fit into this one. If I stay on my workout regimen. Okay. Oh, another kid. So I got this because, actually, let me tell you this. So my friend... My local friend Cyril, who's local, I'll put his Instagram handle um, down below. He asked me about a Ralph Lauren that he found at, where was it, a garage sale, a yard sale, something like that. And it was a black label um, Ralph Lauren. So I was like, that is good. And he's like, why is it so good? Then I said, you know, there's different colors in Ralph Lauren, black, purple, blue, green, polo blah 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 so black is the most expensive then it's purple then it's blue then it's green and polo is different but anyways this is a blue ralph lauren kids size large it's like a thermal long sleeve dress with ruffles at the bottom cute so if you didn't know that about ralph lauren the black if you find one with a black label that is expensive. <laughs> uh, this is Adidas, size extra large. Men's, just long sleeve shirt. Kind of like a color block action. This I got based off of style. If nobody wants it, I will have it. It's a uh, striped, kind of like a belly sleeve, but it's a wrap front, so it's going to be really hard to show but it's a little wrap front, kind of cropped, with, you know, the ties. I was thinking buy, sell, trade for that, so we'll see. This is another Adidas. This one's a large, um, I believe it's men's, quarter zip pullover with vent on the back. Mm -hmm. What does that say? ADI Pure. ADI Pure. I don't know what that is. This is new with tags. Under Armour size large. UPF 30. And it's not branded, which is awesome. 
and it's a shirt polo shirt maybe i'll lot that one with the other one that was a large here's a, the north face men's extra large oh i don't know pants thingy <laughs> pants and they have a pocket on the back and they have zip on the leg i think that they're running pants they've got reflective things on the side this is marmot size large this is women's i might keep this i don't know maybe it's gray hooded jacket it does have stuff on it i need to just wash it it's just surface stuff but i think i might keep that one i need a hooded jacket i don't have one this is also one of the extra small banana republics this one's inside out and terribly wrinkly it's just this printed top it's kind of dated to be honest but I'll just throw it in a lot with those other Banana Republics. This one's cool. <laughs> it's a New Tags Patagonia. Um, what is this called? Better sweater vest. Size large. It is branded by an oncologist company, but I think I can take that off. I think I can. So I grabbed it. <laughs> That's wild. That's exciting. If I get that off, that'll be amazing. And it shouldn't take much. I've watched videos of people taking that off um, with just a razor or a seam ripper or whatever. Anyways, here's another one of those jackets. This one's Boston Traders. This is a fleece line jacket. Jeremy loves these. I'm going to see if he wants this one, but at this time, he already has two. If he doesn't want it, then I'll give it to my consignment store uh, in the fall. And this is getting about as tall as I am. This is another running thing. This is running room. Never heard of it. Size large women. It's a uh, three quarter zip. <laughs> Just a top, and it has a little zip pocket in the back, as they normally do. Here's uh, another Adidas. This one's a size large. Men's, just red hoodie. With some stripes on the side. These are white, and I did see some spots on the back, um, so I'll just wash them. But these are American Eagle size 4, the midi short, and a short season. So we need to get, get those listed. These are Fox Racing, um, size 38. Let's call it Fox Racing. And these are cycling shorts, so they're padded cycling shorts for men. These I want to see if Jeremy wants um, for my brother's wedding in September. These are just Tommy Bahama Relax size large linen pants. So I need to ask him. And if he doesn't want them, we need to get them listed, girlfriend. And they have some ties in the on the inside. They also have like a dry clean thing. Size large. Linen indeed. Right? I can't see these. Not, oh yeah, 100% linen. I was going to say, I can't see these not being 100% linen. Okay, we got a jacket. This is, what is this? Oh, it's a Polo Ralph Lauren. So here's the Polo label. XXL. With a yellow guy here. And it's a vest. Vests. Vests are like the man's cardigan. <laughs> Here is Mountain Hardware. These were all like in the same bin. I, crazy. XL. 
Mountain Hardware. This brand doesn't do like too, too good. Doesn't pull a lot of money, but like 25 bucks for this. Quarter zip. This is J. Crew. The classic size six polka dot Henley top in this cute mustard color. This one came out summer of 2020. So I grabbed it. Okay, a couple more things in here. This is another the North Face Women's Large. These are like those other pants, but for women. What does that say? Oh, they're the Windstopper. Yeah, zip pockets. That's cool. Okay, here is a jacket, actually a winter coat for a kid. And this is Mini Bowden, size five or six years old. Mini Bowden. I don't see any like rips or stains, like too bad of stains. There's some on the arms, um, but I'll just treat that. It should come off. And this last thing is Velvet by Graham and Spencer. And it's like this. Penny Lane type faux Sherpa jacket, full zip, real cute. Let's see what size it is. Mm, medium, 100% polyester. Okay, I'm gonna count my items. I will be right back. All right, I'm back with this huge pile in front of me of all of the clothes. I have 92 items and two shoes. <laughs> And if I do the math, it's $1.17 per item, which is insane. I can't believe it. <laughs> if you like bin hauls or thrift hauls in general, consider subscribing if you're not already. Hit the thumbs up before you go. It lets YouTube know that you like my content. Don't ever forget to stay weird. Bye, guys.